I am Ken Atal. I am the executive chairman of Lonsdale Sachi and Sachi Advertising. I've been around it for about 35 years and um, I've seen the media from coming from one station to several to online to broadband you name it I've seen the transformation of the media into that. We enter a new age, which is now going to be the digital age. The problem for, and there is high penetration in Trinidad and Tobago for digital media. The problem for us in the industry and for the traditional media is how to monetize digital as a platform. The loss of revenue that you see from traditional isn't compensated by what is spent in digital. It bears no comparison. So the challenge is how do we monetize? And I don't think it's a local challenge only. It's internationally. So what do we buy? We buy audience, not only size, but we buy quality. And the more that we can segment that audience is the better that we could convey specific messages are not scattershot the market. So anything that allows us to do this is a good bet. If content is king, then distribution is queen. Because I could have the richest content, the most interesting content, but it could be the best kept secret. I think it's a 360, but there's a high low from client, I'm talking now from an advertising perspective, to shift to digital where they feel it is more cost effective. So revenue streams for traditional have contracted drastically with a shift to digital. Then we have a lot of things happening. You know, what, what do I need? I need, a, I need broadband or internet and I need a little box from Amazon and I have my entertainment. I need one or two sports channels because I like sports. So therefore, the options, people are making decisions that suit their lifestyles. They are more confined even now in this period to entertainment at home. So this is how they're finding it. Traditional media from an advertiser's standpoint has shrunk, I would say 50, 60% in the last four months. I think media may, may want to support that. Um, I think it will shift back a bit, but not, not to return to pre-COVID. Post-COVID is going to be a different scenario. Um, and the way people are consuming, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, online stuff and a lot of activity going on online. How do you get across that clutter? Because it's clutter. It's more clutter than you have on traditional. Yeah? So, again, there are magic words like program programmatic, how you place and find advertising. All these skills are the skills that are going to be required to get noticed. Wasn't that the, the raison d'etre or the intention for TTT? Producing local content for, te for, for television tends to be expensive. Why do, why do stations go to syndicated pro programs? Because they could probably get a, a, a come for 300, 300 US a shot to produce a half an hour program for local content could cost you around up to $40,000. So the cost of production, I don't have a place to spread it. So I, somebody has to buy in at high rate to cover that. So your content, in other words, must come good, must be in demand. You must convince people that this is where you sit down and get all you want to know, all you, whether it's entertainment, sport, news, current affairs, that keeps me informed, this is the one-stop shop. This is, you don't miss this, ever miss it.
And even that is dying because I asked many people, you know, everybody would get seven o'clock is news, get in front of you. Not so again, you know. There's a lot of drop off, but I'm talking, I'm talking in isolation of a very sore point I have. We're making a lot of assumptions and we don't have the media research to support it because the, the industry, and I mean the media, as well as the media in particular, have, don't have a vested interest in getting proper media research done on a continuous basis. They don't see the value. They don't understand what they can do with that research, how it could improve what they do. They see it as bragging rights. We're the biggest, we are the most, which means nothing. So if, instead of drilling down into finding how do I, why is nobody looking at me at five o'clock in the afternoon? How do I make people look at me? If I, it doesn't help them with their programming, or they don't see it, or they don't use it any way it ought to be used. And therefore, if you're going to brag across the screen, I'm the most read or whatever it is, the smaller fellows feel marginalized. They have no interest. So I don't think there's the will to make sure research, research exists on a continuous basis. It's fair, it's fair driven, fair driven, you know, how do I show? In the old days, when you didn't show well, you blame the quality of the research. That research has flawed it, it's, you know. They never embraced it and said, boy, how can I use this to better myself or better my program, you know, better my offer? And it's a strange market because the market waxes and wanes according to the economy. The fortune of the media waxes and wanes according to who is the best anchor, who is the best anchor man in the morning and so on. So what is happening in the media landscape? Who knows? We don't know. We go by gut and we used to have some form of research from a company called Geopole. Uh, was it's very controversial and unless both media and the advertising association support research then it becomes it doesn't become affordable and as the market shrinks in advertising it's becoming even more difficult to afford research so who's going to buy the bullet those are the questions we need to answer